Oh, it's time to expand your mind. Here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. If you tune your radio to 91.9 FM for one city block in Montclair, New Jersey, you can hear a looped recording of I'll Make Love to You by Boys to Men, which has been broadcasting for 13 years straight. A man named Robert Citron, despite being a college dropout and having a math ability of a seventh grader, climbed into the position of treasurer tax collector of Orange County, which he subsequently bankrupted. 12 years before taking their fans to court for sharing their music, Metallica released the $5.98 EP titled to stop their record label and music stores from overcharging fans. The record came with a sticker, Do Not Pay More, a direct jab at music industry markups. How ironic. Michael Crichton, the author of Jurassic Park from 1990, was a workaholic who followed what he called a structured approach of ritualistic self-denial. While writing a book, he would rise increasingly early Early each day. At one point, Crichton would go to bed at 10 p.m. and wake up at 2 a.m. The nut of Honey Nut Cheerios has not been present in the cereal since 2006. Most animals can see UV light. Humans being blind to it is the exception, not the rule. A group of horses were trained to communicate whether they wanted a jacket. All horses in the group successfully communicated that they did want a jacket when it was cold and that they did not want a jacket when it was hot. Sully Sullenberger lost a library book when he ditched U.S. Airways flight 1549 onto the Hudson River. He later called the library to notify them. The book was about professional ethics. Australian Senator Sam Destiari gave a 10 out of 10 rating to the kebab snack pack sold at King Kebab House and advised others to also enjoy a great Australian tradition of meat in a box. In 2004, two male chinstrap penguins, Roy and Silo, after performing mating rituals, formed a pair at New York Central Park Zoo. One of them tried to hatch a rock for which a keeper eventually substituted a fertile egg. Roy and Silo then hatched and raised the chick named Tango. In 2004, Eminem co-executive produced the Tupac album Loyal to the Game with Pac's mom, Afini Shakur. Eminem showed his gratitude to her by sending her a drawing of Pac and a heartfelt letter. He told her that Pac inspired his whole career and thanked her for the opportunities that she afforded him. That's nice. I like that. Daughter from California syndrome is a phrase used in the medical profession to describe a situation in which a disengaged relative challenges the care a dying elderly patient is being given or insists that the medical team pursue aggressive measures to prolong the patient's life. When Steve Jobs was 13, he was given a summer job by Bill Hewlett of Hewlett Packard after Jobs cold called him to ask for parts for an electronics project. Fox took video game clips from YouTube to use in an episode of Family Guy and after airing, Fox's automatic search robots accidentally flagged the original clips with a copyright claim and the videos were taken down. The videos were later restored when the mistake was pointed out. 29 bars in New Jersey were caught serving things like rubbing alcohol mixed with food coloring as scotch and dirty water as liquor. Second breakfast is an actual thing, not an invention of Tolkien, author of Lord of the Rings. It's a traditional meal in parts of Central Europe, mainly Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, and Bavaria, and can consists of meats and pastries with coffee to drink. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. What's totals, precious? The organization of the periodic table of elements was created by Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev after having a dream where, in his dream, the elements arranged themselves by their atomic weights and electron properties. NASA's Gemini 7 space mission lasted for 14 days. After rendezvousing with Gemini 6 on the 11th day, the two astronauts had nothing to do other than read books in the very cramped cockpit. Frank Borman, the commander, said that the last three days were bad. But you're still in space, man. That's so cool. <sighs> in April 2018, Robert Pope completed the Forrest Gump run in which he ran across America five times in 422 days of that running. It's estimated that he ran about 15,607 miles. As his first act after finishing the run, he proposed to his girlfriend. He was probably covered in poo. A lot of long distance runners poo themselves. Want to marry me? <laughs> the Chicago area has more hot dog restaurants than McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King 
restaurants combined. John Rock, one of the creators of the contraceptive pill, was a devout Catholic. Of the approximately 16 million Americans who served during World War II, there are around 119,550 still remaining. Linguists estimate that at least half of the world's 6,500 languages will become extinct in the next 100 years. That means on average, a language is dying about every two weeks. Genghis Khan's conquest caused such devastation that vegetation regrowth in his enemy's former lands led to a notable decrease in atmospheric carbon dioxide. The creator of Breaking Bad, Vince Gilligan, had planned to kill off Jesse or Hank in the first season as a ballsy moment to end the first season on, but a screenwriter strike limited the production from nine to seven episodes and the death was eliminated with the limited episode count. The film Jaws caused neurosis in a viewer. After trouble sleeping and anxiety, she began screaming sharks, sharks, with convulsions. A study found that Jaws is unusually effective among films in causing stress. Whether it's suspense, gore, or music is the cause is unclear. Norway has the largest single sovereign wealth fund in the entire world at 1.6 trillion in assets. Larger than the sovereign wealth funds of China, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE. Steven Spielberg desperately wanted to release Schindler's List in 1993 in time for the Warsaw Ghetto anniversary. But Universal wanted him to finish Jurassic Park first. To keep Universal happy, he had George Lucas oversee Jurassic's post-production while he's filming Schindler's List in Poland. If you step on a scale at the North Pole and you weigh 200 pounds, you would weigh 198 pounds in Northern Brazil at the equator due to the spin of the Earth. I know. Wanna come say hi to everybody? My boy. Hi, healthy boy. I know, I love you, Ned. Quick dance for everybody and then we go. Okay, ready? Baby Ned, do, do. Okay, I love you. <laughs> Healthy boy. Thumbs up for Ned. Islam spread to North Africa because a general decided to ignore his orders. The caliph sent a letter ordering his general not to invade Egypt. Suspecting it contained orders to withdraw, he said that he would open it at the end of the day, by which time he had already crossed the border. In Iceland, you're able to revoke your ex's rights to your surname. Bill Nye the Science Guy holds a patent for improved point shoes to better support dancers' feet. Bill! 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 A pregnant woman can get pregnant again again while she's already pregnant. It's possible for a human female to be carrying a baby and release another egg that can be fertilized independently, resulting in two differently aged fetuses in her womb. A man survived two separate bear attacks in a single day. After the first attack where he was bitten on the head and arms, he played dead to make the bear lose interest. Despite the ordeal, he walked three miles to his truck only to be attacked again by the same bear and miraculously survived. And that's when you buy a lottery ticket. A version of the golden rule can be found on ancient Egyptian papyrus from the Egyptian late period. It states that which you hate to be done to you do not do to another. There's an annual lying contest in England called the world's biggest liar. Held in Cumbria, contestants vie to tell the most convincing lie within five minutes. Politicians and lawyers are barred from participating due to their reputed skill in deception. There are over 20,000 species of edible plants in the world, but only 20 make up 90% of humans' food. If you have a fear of bridges, you can hire a service where someone gets behind the wheel of your car and drives you across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, a 4.3 mile stretch in Maryland, known as one of the scariest bridges in the world. In the early 1950s, many elementary students in Lake County, Indiana and Utah were tattooed with their blood type in case nuclear war broke out. From 2014 to 2019, Flint, Michigan was exposed to contaminated water leaving 12,000 children exposed. This led to 79 lawsuits, 12 deaths, four firings, four resignations, and one conviction in which the convicted was given just one year probation. 4% of people have never had a headache. While dogs may not pass the traditional mirror test, they do pass a smell mirror test, suggesting that they understand the concept of self. Cockroach dust plays a part in why so many inner city children have asthma. Inspector Clouseau, the world's 
only known pink manta ray was first discovered in 2015 in the waters off of Australia and named for the detective in the Pink Panther series. When new Coke was released, Pepsi gave their employees a day off and ran full page newspaper ads to declare the victory in the cola wars. Theaters used to hire people to attend shows to clap, cry, or laugh at the right moments in order to influence the audience's reactions. Matt Damon, via his ventures Water.org and Water Equity, raised $150 million in one month alone from Starbucks, Gap, DuPont, and other big name companies. The initiative aims to continue providing access to safe water and sanitation in some parts of Asia and Africa. Leonard Nimoy refused to join Star Trek the Animated Series without George Takai or Nichelle Nichols, claiming that they were proof of ethnic diversity in the 23rd century. Sid Vicious got his name after a friend's hamster named Sid who bit him. Vicious hamster. Uh, uh, uh. Due to Woody Harrelson's raw vegan lifestyle, the Twinkies in the movie Zombieland, in which he plays a character with an affinity for the treat, were replaced with vegan faux Twinkies made from cornmeal. And that's it. Hope you learned something. Here's the outro card. Goodbye now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please share it and leave a like. Both help me out a lot. And of course, an extra special thank you to my channel members who get exclusive access to the bloopers from this video, which is one of the clickable links on screen right now. I'll see you guys next time. Much love.